welcome to my channel my name is Louise and uh, my channel is mainly a haul every uh, Saturday at five o'clock but I do these random things every now and again so today I'm actually going to make some cakes originally I was going to make cookies but I'm going to make cakes I'm going to take them into work because work's been really really rubbish recently there's a whole thing going on where they're trying to implement a whole lot of new ways of doing things but we're supposed to be doing it and they're not keeping up their end of the bargain and it's all like communications rubbish as usual which it, you know happens happens in most large businesses and it's like the the mood is low <laughs> and food always helps <laughs> so originally i was going to do cookies and then i just suddenly got it in my head no nope, cakes are better cakes take the edge off better my hair's all over the place because i literally just shoved it back because i'm cooking <laughs> but i washed it last night and didn't put any product in it at all and it's I feel like it's more fly away than usual. I know it's always fly away, but a little bit more than usual. So, um, we're going to make some cookie. Uh, no, we're going to make some cakes. Um, I've just randomly Googled a recipe and I'm still not deciding. We're either going to ice them or buttercream them. I'm not sure which way we're going to go yet. You are, just going to say, you are going to hear some barking in the background. So, Dale, the, the larger one of my two dogs, this both small, but the larger one, he suddenly decided, as soon as he goes outside, he's just going to bark. He's going to stand at the back door and bark like he wants to come in. And it's a thing. So I'm going to have to ignore him for a while. There's nothing wrong with him. His brother's out there with him. His brother's perfectly fine as well because you can't hear him. He's wandering around doing his thing. Um, but it's literally, as soon as they go out, he starts barking because he wants to come straight back in. And it's a problem. And because I go to work so early in the morning, I can't have the barking thing going on. So I'm just letting you know, you will hear in the background, they're perfectly fine, everything's good. Okay, yeah, so if you enjoy chatty vlogs, random crap, because that's my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm going to show you what ingredients we got and then we're going to sort of wing it the way I usually do. <laughs> so just so you know, the noise in the background you can hear is actually my oven. The oven is on, gas mark for preheating as we speak. So we got, these are the ingredients we're going to be using. I think I might use those sprinkly thingies that I bought but I'm not sure yet so they're just sitting over there to remind me in case I do want to use them so I've already weighed out the butter this is 110 grams of it's supposed to be softened butter but it's quite warm in here so it probably will be by the time I get to it just cut it up in chunks because I know I'm gonna have to uh, blend it so it'll just be easier um, I will put either put the weights or I'll tell you the weights when we actually weigh them out and stuff because I can't remember all of them right now we've got baking powder sugar eggs We've got two vanilla <laughs> extracts. This is weird. Told you I talk a lot. So we're nearly out of this one. It's very, very watery. This one is a brand new one. And I thought, oh, wow, that's proper syrupy. And I was looking. They both say Madagascar and vanilla extract. No reason for me to think they're any different. But when you look at the ingredients, which I don't think you'll be able to see it. I don't know. This one, which is quite watery, has got water ethanol, Madagascar and vanilla extract. And that's it. But this one has got invert sugar syrup, glucose syrup, water and vanilla extract. Didn't realise there would be such a difference. I just assumed that would be the same one. Uh, but yeah, I need to pay attention to them. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know, just in case you didn't know either, because I didn't know. So this one's like proper syrupy. So it's going to add to the sugar content. But there's nothing you can do about it because it's all I've got right now. We've got plain flour and they're going to put the tiniest bit of salt in it as well. So that is our ingredients for our cake. Now I'm going to set, reset the camera and we'll get on with it. Step one, we've got the butter, which is 110 grams. We're going to put this in, actually haven't even got utensils. Oh, this is so bad. Right, 110 grams of the butter, which is going in. It is softened. I mean, I think having the oven on for a while helps. So that goes in the bowl. Then we're going to do 110 grams of caster sugar as well so we want grams zero it off all right 110 grams I was leaning on it then okay we've got 112 it's close enough <laughs> i'm not going to get them dead on nothing's ever going to be dead on when i'm cooking <laughs> and then what we got to do is 
Uh, uh, what was the wording? Let me see the uh, actual wording. Blend until pale and fluffy. So this is just like the time consuming bit of making cakes. fluffy it's pale <laughs> it's not much fluff going on there it's like a bit of dough but this is what it says to do so that's what we're going with you know my cooking by now very half-hearted with it right well i made a mess as per usual so <laughs> there is 110 grams of sifted plain flour in that minus the all over the side bit which is perfectly normal for me got to put two teaspoons of baking powder which i'm just going to put in with the flour for now right, two teaspoons of that and then we are going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt which i'm going to judge that's half a teaspoon so i'll put half of that in okay that's about right <laughs> that's all going to go in there then we are going to add two eggs into a bowl one teaspoon of the vanilla extract You can really tell the difference in the texture of those two. Okay, that goes in there and then we're going to beat them together. Then that's going to go in there and then we're going to beat it all together and it's basically done. together it took me longer than I thought so I had to turn the thing off um it's been a while since I've got made cake like a long time since I made cakes I think I don't know I thought it was going to come out a bit runnier than that but this is what we're left with I put muffin cases because I've got to try and transport them and like I said I'm not really sure what size that uh, what topping I'm going to put if I'm going to put buttercream I was thinking it might help I don't even know oh totally winging this totally winging this so anyway, we are going to try to get, I think I need to use a small spoon. We're going to fill these uh, muffin cases up. Now this recipe says it's for 12 cakes, but I did type in, muff, uh, didn't type in muffin cakes, I typed in fairy cake. So it might be that it, it will be smaller than this anyway. I don't know. Not using much mixture, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to get 12 out of this. So I'm going to do it in two batches. Because I did think I had more trays than I have. I'm sure I had a metal one of these trays, um, but I don't know what I've done with it, so. Which is pretty standard for me, isn't it? Does that look about even? Uh, a little bit more in that one. Right, I'm gonna go with that, I think. Yeah, it looks about right. So now this is gonna go in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes, and then we do the normal method of um, toothpick in if it comes out clean then it's done so we will come back when i've cooked all of these and 
hopefully by then I would have decided what sort of topping we're going to put on it. Cakes are done. They um, sunk a little bit. Anybody who makes cakes on a regular basis or knows why, let me know what I did wrong for them to sink. So they did actually take 20 minutes and 18 minutes in the oven as well. Um, and I've decided I'm going to do butter cream, which I'm going to do off camera, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, because, just because it's going to be really time consuming, so it'll be easier to do it that way. Let me show you the cakes. So there they are. Um, this was the first batch. This is the second batch. So look, we've got, they're fine. They feel nice, they're moist. Um, but they sunk. And then the second batch, I ran out of the amount, but that's fine. It, it, they're homemade, they're not supposed to be perfect. Um, do, I'm sorry about my shadows, but I'm struggling to try and figure out where to put my light today. For the buttercream, we've got, uh, most of this recipe is 110 grams. Again, it's 110 grams of butter, which I've just been trying to like soften and I, I just mix mixing it and pressing it and I'm trying to get it as soft as I can. Then what we're gonna do is, we've got icing sugar, 110 grams of this as well. And then you just put one tablespoon into this mixture at a time, mix it really good, another teaspoon, and keep going until it's all gone. So I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna be really time consuming. And I was trying to think which flavor, because we can just go but buttercream, that would be it. That's a bit boring. So I think I'm gonna put lemon in it because I'm really, really massively into lemon anyway. And I can't see people having an issue with lemon. I don't think. I don't know how far this buttercream is going to go either. So if it doesn't cover all of them, we can do something else with the rest. Yeah. So I'm going to mix this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. I found a piping bag. I cleaned it out. I found a little nozzle and I have YouTubed. It looks really simple. I mean, you know, these people that make cakes and stuff for a living they're gonna make it look simple but it didn't look like it, could, it was gonna be something that I'm not gonna be able to do so I'm gonna try and get a little bit arty and instead of just do like one big swell I'm gonna do some little uh, like flowers or something on it I don't know that's my I like that's what I want to do but you know when I try these things and they mess up we may just end up with a load of buttercream dumped on the top it's still going to be a nice cake. It's still the thought that counts. <laughs> so they're not even expecting the cakes tomorrow. So it'll be a surprise, and we're just going to go with it. Okay. So <laughs> I'll be back when I've done the buttercream. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes later, we have it in here. So I just, like I said, a tablespoon at a time of the uh, icing sugar into the butter kept mixing it and it, it's, it's gone a really nice consistency and because I wanted this lemon I've put one tablespoon of lemon juice in it and it does say to put a little bit in and test it but I like lemon and I just dumped it all in there and I've mixed it and it's really really nice it's got like a nice lemon tan but that sweetness from the icing sugar really really impressed so the moment of truth let's see how this goes so I'm not going to do any test ones I'm going straight in there because you know that's what I do so it says to actually squeeze this in like that because clearly we want it to come out the bottom nothing's happening oh it's coming down the tube a little bit and then she actually said she she had an old technique like I said she does it for a living to wrap this around your finger I don't even remember how I guess like that you sort of um, just like that flowers oh no first time I've used it I don't know if you can see that the seam's gone on me oh this was going so well Okay, let's, I'm going to cover it up with my hand. Hopefully it won't come out anymore. Oh, messed that one up. It's not terrible. Okay. So that's pretty much what I'm going to go with. I'm just going to show you one actually. I'll do the rest and then show you because this is going to get messy. I can't believe that. So the seam is actually going all the way down there. 
but I'm gonna have to tighten it again. Oh, that's so annoying. This is supposed to be one of them reused ones, but it's one I bought last year when we was um, picking up all this cooking stuff for Christmas and that. So I can't take it back. Right, so anyway, that's number one. Hopefully we can get them out. That doesn't look terrible. And I'm, I was thinking maybe like these balls and just put like a ball in the middle, something. Maybe a couple of hearts, something like that. So I'm gonna do it, we'll see how far we get and then I'll show you. Right, finished product. From what I can see on the camera, you can't see it properly. I don't know what you can see, but they came out pretty well and I just put three little of those balls on it just to make it look a bit prettier. I think they look, I'm really actually impressed how well they came out. And that buttercream is amazing. I'm not even a buttercream fan particularly. Um, I actually ran out of buttercream. So with the other ones, I just put some um, icing. I put the red dye that I bought the other day, just a little bit of that to make it pink. And it's got the little hearts and hundreds and thousands on it. And I actually found some red, um, strawberry icing flavoring. So I've put some flavoring on that. And um, there was two rubbish ones, <laughs> which won't be taken. It done, I did say I was gonna do um, doggy cooking as well, which was this that I bought the other day. I was actually going to do that. But the bit in between um, cooking them and icing them, Dal came in from the garden and he's made a mess of himself, like he's trying to teach me a lesson. Um, <laughs> how dare I make him stay out in the garden. Uh, to the point where I'm now actually going to have to bath him and I've still got work tomorrow so time's getting on I won't have time to do that as well I'll be pushing it too much um yeah so that's it I hope you enjoyed my uh cake baking uh you know my my confidence in my cooking skills are not great I'm actually pleased how they came out I mean I haven't actually tried it yet I will try it in a minute but um I'm getting really really tired like I'm exhausted tired and I've still got a lot to do because of Dale so I'm going to go, um, there is actually, I'm, I'm going to edit this and get this up tonight, so this is actually Thursday night, so you'll be watching this Thursday night, and I do know that there is, um, actually, it started off amber warnings earlier today, and now it's actually red warnings and a don't leave the house warnings in the UK, where I'm coming on tomorrow, because of Storm Eugenie, I think it's Eugenie, I'm fairly confident it's Eugenie, anyway, Please, please, if you're in the UK, please take care. Don't go out unless you actually have to. Um, you know, I love all of you and I would, uh, you know, the thought. It's going to get horrible tomorrow and it's scary because we don't cope very well in the UK with storms. You would think we would, but we don't. Um, but it's been a while since we've had a quite bad one and I don't usually watch the news and that and I've seen so many warnings on it and stuff. So... I think it's going to be a scary one, so please, please take care. Um, I will see all of you safe and well on Saturday for my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and comment anything down below. Um, any tips on how I could have done this a little bit better? Are they proper sunk in? I don't know what. There's got to be something I did to make them sink, but I just don't know what it was. So, yeah, if you've got any tips, great. Um, won't be baking cakes that often, but still, it's nice to know these things, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, hope you're having a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.